post-trip heresy brings a spirit of fear. But you have a problem there because God has not given you the spirit of fear. Let me show you. Romans 8.15 For we have not received the spirit of bondage again into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. 2 Timothy 1.7 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. If you have a spirit of fear and you're saved, it's not from God. But if you're a post tribute you've got a problem there because don't tell me you can read the, the events of Revelation and think you're going to go into this time period and experience that and not get a spirit of fear. Come on, don't tell me you won't get a spirit of fear. You know, even if you think God's going to protect you, you're going to get a spirit of fear. It, it's the flesh. You're going to get a spirit of fear reading the horrific events that happened in the book of Revelation. But God's not giving you a spirit of fear. So again, it would cause a, it, it would cause a contradiction in God's word. This is one of the many contradictions that post-trib heretics get themselves into when they think when they say, we're going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble. God's not giving you the spirit of fear, but if you go into the time of Jacob's trouble, you're going to get a spirit of fear. There are horrific events that go on there. So is God lying, or are you going to get taken up before this time period? It's that simple. If you're saved, you don't, you don't have a spirit of fear. If you do have one, it's not from God. And part of the reason why we're not going into the time of Jacob's trouble, because if we have this idea that we're going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble, save people, obviously, uh, you're going to get a spirit of fear. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to get a spirit of fear. So, don't be deceived. Again, it's one of the many contradictions that post-trippers get themselves into, and just, again, making God a liar. Because God's not giving you the spirit of fear, but if you go into this time period, you're going to, you're going to become very fearful. So, yeah, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.